guys, welcome back inside of the Plastic Planet. I'm your host, Nick Nack, hanging out with you guys tonight. Guys, I'm back. It's been like two weeks since I put up a video, and I'm very, very, very sorry for that. Um, as I alluded to in my last video, uh, my Godzilla uh, Shogun Warriors Godzilla uh, showcase video, um, that I was gonna take. I was gonna be on vacation the next week, and I did. Wife and I went to beautiful Orlando, Florida, and uh, Disney World, and it was fantastic. And I bought a lot of awesome shit that I'm gonna be showing off to you guys in this video. So yeah, I picked up a lot of awesome souvenirs, and I also picked up some fucking COVID while I was out there too. And oh man, that sucked. So I'm a real, I'm a real. If I was, if I was a fairy tale when I get sick, you'd call me Puss in Boots because I turned into a big pussy when I'm sick. I don't like to do shit. And so, yeah, I've been a little under the weather lately, but I am on the rebound. I am all the way through all my antivirals, and um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot freaking better. So, uh, yeah, I uh, still got a little congestion and shit, but I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, yeah, so let's, let's check out all the shit that I bought in Disney World, because I bought some cool crap. Let's do it right now. <music> So first up tonight, this is this is kind of dumb, but it's a it's a little chopper droid that I picked up at, at one of the main Disney stores um, on Main Street at the Magic Kingdom in uh, Disney World. Anyway, it's kind of like I said, it's kind of a chopper droid. I don't know if this is uh, this is you know chopper in disguise or, or some shit. I can't remember all the all the times they painted chopper in the in the in the Rebel series. But uh, anyway, I don't know. It's just kind of cool. It's kind of a little wind up uh, toy, and I think I think he kind of like kind of has a little wind up feature on him. So anyway, yeah, he, he carries on and shit. He's got some, uh, he's got some electronic features on him. Little battery compartment back there. I think he does like, I think he does kind of wind up and move around a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, he's all right. He's kind of stupid. Alrighty, guys. So next up tonight, I have a uh, another chopper droid, and this one I did pick up at the Build a Droid Workshop at. Uh, uh, Galaxy's Edge at uh, Disney World. Of course, in Disney World, that's at Hollywood Studios, uh, not at the Magic Kingdom like in Disneyland. But anyway, that's not here or there. But anyway, yeah, so I picked up this chopper droid. This is a full-size Build-A-Droid scale chopper droid. And uh, here's his uh, his cool remote control that he comes with. It's a little little different than chopper colors versus the uh, the ones that the standard Build-A-Droids come with or that R2-D2 came with. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think this this is a really fucking cool uh, chopper droid. Uh, again, I'm not like a big fan of Rebels, but I just kind of think these droids are cool. I'm a big fan of robots, and Chopper's kind of cool in my book. Uh, you know, he's not my favorite astromech of all time, but he's pretty damn cool. And uh, this chopper droid is, is really, really freaking awesome. So a lot of personality here, which 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 is just which is just really really cool. And as you guys see, there's a number of lights, things like that. Shit lights up all over him. So yeah, I mean he's really really fucking cool. Um, yeah, I mean, there were a lot of these at the at, at the Droid Depot. So if you're in in one of the uh, the parks at the at the Galaxy's Edge, you should be able to find one pretty easily. And uh, yeah, I don't know he's just really cool, man. I'm digging him a lot. All right, guys. So next up tonight here is R two D two here, and I didn't I didn't get a new R two D two at uh, at uh, Galaxy's Edge uh, Build a Droid this time, but I did get this metal dome for my R two D two that I bought about two years ago. Yeah, so this thing is really really fucking sweet. Of course, it is all diecast metal. Uh, the light up features on it, as you guys can see, are a lot more detailed. Uh, than the uh, previous version, which just was a plastic dome and only the uh, front part lit up. So he's really, really cool. Um, kind of gives him some more personality. Gives him gives him a real premium feel. Really makes my R2-D2 uh, a lot more, uh, I don't know, a lot more a lot more heavy because it really gives some girth onto it, you know, some weight. And uh, so that's pretty damn cool. But yeah, I'm digging this a lot. 
Anytime you can add die cast to something, it just makes it more, just more top shelf. You know what I mean? Real top shelf. So, yeah, I, I dig that a lot. Alrighty, guys, and uh, next up tonight, well, I didn't get this uh, Build-A-Droid uh, R2 at uh, at uh, Disney World this last time. I think I built this droid uh, a year ago when we when I went with the entire family. Uh, but anyway, uh, the standard, like, personality chip on these things, I think, is basically R2-D2, as you guys can probably see. <laughs> Sounds just like R2-D2, right? I think it's like an Alliance droid, basically. So anyway, I wanted to change things up a little bit. And I haven't ever bought one of these, but I, I fired up this personality chip. And this is the purple one. I think it's like a pirate droid personality chip. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, it's some kind of Disney thing. But anyway, you put the, pers the personality chip in here, I think. All right, so yes, yeah, so I installed a personality chip in there. just couldn't do it one-handed. One and it just totally changes it up. Now, I'm not covering anything anything really new here. Uh, this, this is well known about these, but I don't know. It's the first time I've done it for one of my droids, and I think it's really, really damn cool. <laughs> so it just totally changes up the way his voice relays are and stuff I kind of like this one because it's just kind of dopey and the cool part is they do sometimes interact with each other as you guys can see I'm not sure how that works but sometimes they do Chopper's still pretty quiet over here, though. So, anyway, that's fantastic. These are so goddamn fun, I'll tell you what. Um, you know, a lot of people like to go and, you know, build lightsabers and shit. Nah, fuck that. Me, it's all about building droids and, and uh, getting new things for my the ones I currently have. Like I said, I didn't actually build a droid this last time. I picked up Chopper, and I picked up the personality ship for this one, and the... Uh, See, there's Chopper just randomly going off. That's so fucking cool. And I picked up, of course, the, like I said, the die-cast metal dome for R2. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's really damn cool. All right, guys, so next up. So I showed off this C-3PO maybe a couple years back. I bought it, I think, two years ago, pre-pandemic, right before the world kind of closed down. Uh, we went to Anaheim, went to Disneyland, and I bought this at Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland, this C-3PO. And, you know, he's really cool. I'm not much more than an interpreter. He's... So he's not that interactive, but he is really damn cool. I unfortunately have to keep mine sort of like half the, 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 you can take the head and the arms off. I have to keep my head just slightly in there. Otherwise the eyes don't light up. If I put it all the way in, the eyes stop lighting up when it talks. Which is kind of a shit. But anyway, you can remove the arms and he'll, he'll complain and stuff. Up. So anyway, but anyway, so he's really damn cool. And uh, this last time I was out, I went ahead because I liked him so much. I went in, I picked up the B1 Battle Droid, and this thing is. So as you guys can see, this B1 Battle Droid is is really damn sweet, and it has it functions along the same lines as the C3PO. He's got a slight a little button here in his chest. B1 Battle Droid Battle Ready. And he doesn't have the light-up features that C-3PO does, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because the C-3PO's eyes only work half the time. But anyway, he's really damn cool. Can we take cover? And it's got the voice from the same voice from the, the Clone Wars series battle droid, the animated one. Yep, this is about the worst job in the droid army. And, of course, you can take him apart, too. yeah he's really cool he'll complain and stuff he's got some articulation on him and he's really really cool now one thing i haven't done yet that you can do is i can put the c-3po head onto him and one of our droids is going off again kind of fun so we can put the c-3po head on him let's see what happens when we do that i haven't done it yet honestly i haven't so this will be uh, this will be fun all right so you can see i've taken the the b1 battle droids head off and we can put it on c-3po let's see what happens when we put it on c-3po anything I don't think so. Something's not right because now I can't see. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't think so. I think he would say that if his head was off regardless. Not my eye. Yeah, I don't think it's registering. But anyway, let's see what happens when we put the C-3PO head on the on the B-1 battle droid. Shit. Legs are a little spindly. Hang on. All right, so I popped him all the way in, and the lights are working. I don't know if he says anything different. Let's find out. 
It's against my programming to impersonate a deity. Okay, so now he's just C-3PO. Sir, I am fluent in six million forms of communication. I was kind of hoping to get some, like, Attack of the Clones quotes in here, you know. Sir, my first job was programming binary load lifters. Very similar to your vaporators in most respects. Anyway. Anyway, that's a fun feature, anyway. Again, I was hoping that they would have some kind of Easter egg kind of thing in there, but they don't. Do you know, I think I'm beginning to get the hang of this flying business. <laughs> so, anyway. Still fun. Still fun. So there's C-3PO with, uh, missing an arm with the battle droid head on. And R2 knows that's fucking blows. So, I don't know. Kind of fun. Alrighty, guys. So, as you guys can see, I've put everyone's head back on the right droid. I wouldn't recommend actually putting the C-3PO head fully on the, the B-1 battle droid, though, because I couldn't get it off without really yanking it. And I actually broke this small peg off the back of C-3PO's neck. But it actually kind of works better now. I don't know. Um, it lights up. I don't have to have it haphazardly placed in there to have it light up. So anyway, there they all are together, guys. Kind of sweet. All right, well, anyway, guys, that wasn't going to be it on the Star Wars front, but Jesus Christ, what did my hair get so goddamn gray? Yeah, I love myself. So anyway, guys, that wasn't going to be it on the Star Wars front. I actually did buy two three and three quarter inch action figures at the park. I was a little disappointed rolling around the park because they had a lot of stuff um, as far as uh, figures go that were really just reminiscent of what you could find in fucking Walmart or Target. They had tons of like, you know, General Lander Calrissians hanging around or sings and things like that. Really disappointing. I mean, you pay for a premium to get into a park. You think you should get some premium merchandise. Uh, anyway, that's just my opinion. But that was sort of disappointing. But anyway, I, I can't figure out where the hell I put those two, three, and three quarters figures that I bought in Disney uh, World this time. Uh, they're here somewhere. I've been looking around for them, but I can't find them. Uh, honestly, I was straightening up my room last Friday night when I was had a had a had a hundred degree fever, and I don't remember anything. So who knows where the hell I put them? I did remember that I found this really odd sport on late night cable. Um, it's it's volleyball, but you play with your foot, and uh, it's like some co-ed thing. I have I, I really could not figure out the appeal of it outside of the obvious here. But anyway, that's that's, what, that's all I got there. So anyway, it's been a hell of a week, guys. It's been a hell of a week. Oh yeah, Godzilla wants what we all want, guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Also, check it out. On the non-Star Wars front, I did get these two Godzilla pieces of merchandise from Epcot in the uh, Japan store in Japan in Epcot. Uh, these are really cool. So I got this keychain. My wife bought me this keychain, actually. Uh, really cool little Godzilla keychain. Uh, of course, these are you know sold you know primarily in Japan, but you can get them at the Japan store in uh, Epcot at Disney World resort so anyway and then i got this really cool uh godzilla i think this is like a solar power deal and you'd put it on like your car dashboard and you know as it's like solar powered and it would like move with uh uh with with the uh, as it's as it's warmed up and it's all obviously down here in my basement so it's not getting a lot of uh solar energy but anyway it's really cool i spent like 40 bucks on this yeah, R2's chiming in down there. But anyway, he looks really, really cool. I, I might open him, but I don't know. I really don't want to ruin this awesome, cool Japanese packaging, which is really, really neat. But yeah, he's, he's, he's fucking badass. Yeah, Chopper agrees. He's really badass. Look at that. So that's really cool. So then there's the bottom of it. So Toho of Japan. So very, very cool. So anyway, these are two uh, cool Godzilla pieces I got that are going really, really nice here uh, on my Godzilla shelves, which I showed off in my last video. Of course, the star of that, of course, is my Shogun uh, 1978 Godzilla from, uh, from Mattel. <laughs> so cool. 